Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rekhakwadash. I want to give double honor to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone who do rule and teach well. And I want to give a peace and salutations to all you Akim out there pushing his truth across the four winds so we can seal the elect and make it to the kingdom. All right, it's the brother Yorah, Lord willing, coming back to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, to feed the body and edify the sheep in all spirit, faith, truth, sincerity, and doctrine. All right. This is uh, one of the latest uh, articles from RT News, all right? And the header reads, uh, Kiev, Kiev reveals how many military draftees try to flee Ukraine illegally, okay? So this is happening over in the Ukraine, all right? People are being drafted, all right? Or, 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 uh, or uh, were being drafted, okay? And they, and they didn't want to go to war. So they were trying to uh, 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 smuggle themselves in the midst of other uh, uh, people leaving or fleeing the U the uh, Ukraine. All right. After the uh, the uh, the uh, after, after the Russian, you know, the uh, Russian military uh, 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 invaded. Right. And they're trying to flee. All right. You see. So let me uh, let's uh, just read a little bit into the article. It says later latest figures. Uh, released by the country's border agency span the period since February 24th. Thousands of Ukraine men trying to dodge the military draft have been detained at their country's border since late February, uh, the country's authorities have revealed. Okay, according to an uh, infographic uh, and, and statement all right, accompanying, accompanying it, published by the Ukraine's uh, State Border Service on, on Saturday, since the introduction of martial law, all right, keep that in mind, border guards have uh, apprehended more than 8,000 dodgers, okay, people were trying to dodge the, uh, the, uh, the uh, draft, for attempting to illegally cross the border, all right? It says of those uh, 5,600, all right, people all right, or, or Ukrainians, okay, are said to have tried to leave the country away uh, from uh, official checkpoints, okay? It says 245 uh, more Dodgers have tried to bribe officials with the total sum of, of the money offered reaching 3.8 million Ukraine uh, um, higher 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 nia okay which is which is in american dollars is, is the equivalent of uh 103,700 dollars okay which is a lot of money over there man okay it says the ukraine government declared martial law on february 24th the day russia launched its military uh, offensive uh against the country okay it says it has been renewed uh, by the Ukraine uh, uh, um, parliament several times since since and is still in place under military law males between 18 and 60 okay between 18 years old and 60 years old liable for Salakia it says uh, where am I where am I where am I yeah right here okay so right here it says, under military law, males between 18 years old and 60 years old liable for military service are prohibited from leaving the country. Ukraine authorities regularly post videos and photos of draft dodgers detained while trying to cross the border. Some of the men in question got, got, got creative, hiding, hiding inside a train's uh, lavatory or even in the luggage c compartment of a van, see? And, and, and the reason why, uh, um, you know, through the spirit, uh, when I read this, um, this article, okay, uh, uh, um, um, it made me, you know, compelled me to do a lesson through the spirit, all right, is because this is, this is foreshadowing what's going to happen in America, okay? I know people are saying, oh, no, 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 we have the greatest military in the world and we would never go to war and... You know, blase, 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 blase. Okay, don't listen to your lead officials. Okay, all right. Listen to the prophets. All right. Even in the ancient times, the kings of different nations. All right, 
throughout throughout different time periods okay would would come to the prophets all right why because the prophets okay even back then they were called seers okay the prophets all right were the ones that were getting a uh, uh, messages straight from the heavenly father yahweh okay or who the world calls god okay you see pertaining to future events you see all right and the prophets of today yes there are prophets of today okay you see them on the highways and hedges all right you see you see vocab harassing them right you see the prophets of the lord yahweh Shai today okay are telling you that through prophecy all right that World War Three is going to happen, man, and we're gonna grab scriptures on that, okay? But this, but even this right here, as far as being, you know, a, 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 I'm a draft. This is gonna happen in the, in the United States, man, okay? Let's uh, get this article. All right, this is a reference article. It was a certain article that I was looking for, but uh, that actually came out in uh, around 2018 or 2019. That for some reason I cannot find anywhere on the internet right now, okay? But this is something similar to it because this article here from the insider or right, the business insider dot com, OK, was a rebuttal. OK. Or 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 a response article to the actual article that I'm looking for. OK, so we're going to read this. Uh, the header reads, no, the U.S. military shouldn't lower the, so like the enlistment age to 16 years old. So children can't can can uh, fight in the war, okay? You see, so 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 this is gonna happen, okay? All right, and like I mentioned earlier, man, we know because of prophecy, okay? And we're gonna get that scripture to prove that, okay? But let's read a little bit of this article, man, okay? This is uh, let's see, it was a certain part I wanted to read right here. All right, and it reads. There are all sorts of reasons why the U.S. military enlists in 16 year olds, which means actually recruiting them at 15 years old, 14 years old, even 13 years old is a bad idea. OK, this this person wrote. OK, and then they give the, uh, you know, five reasons why it, it's a bad idea. But let's skip down here. It says, but since but since the rationale for the person that so like for for the proposal really just boiled down to the observation that 13 year olds are as the article wrote see the article that I, that I was originally looking for 30 percent cheaper to target with with uh, web ads than 18 year olds it's it's really not worth writing hundreds of more words on it okay as the person wrote all right it says sign someone who literally wrote a book on child soldiers okay so and, and and here's a quote and a reference from that that man it says peter warren singer okay is it's so like it is 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 a strategist and senior fellow at the new america think tank okay yes they have think tanks okay all right in these different colleges and, and you know you know things like that man they have think tanks okay on the future of the country okay it says in washington dc and author of multiple books including ghost fleet like war and uh, uh um uh um pertinent to the to this topic all right the book called children at war okay so 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 this guy peter peter warren singer okay is a part of this think tank for this new america okay for the future of the americas right and he's a guy he's a he's one of the same guys that wrote a book called children at war all right you see and i'm pretty sure uh, uh, in that within that think tank that he was a part of okay they mentioned the future of america as far as the military enlisting uh, uh, um, 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 men, okay, or boys, all right, at the ages of 16, 15, 14, even 13 years old, okay, so this is coming to America, this, this, th this proposal has been thrown out there, okay, that's pretty much the whole point of bringing out this article here, okay, so it's not, it's not far-fetched, you know, for those that might be watching this lesson or listening to it and saying, well, that's far-fetched, right, 
right? Or or that's a reach. It's not a reach, man. This was actually a proposal, okay? So let's go uh, to the scriptures, man. All right. This is the book of Second Edris, chapter sixteen. Okay. Remember, I remember I mentioned earlier that we know, all right, because of prophecy, that this a uh, 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 draft, all right, is going to actually happen in America. It was proposed, but it's going to actually happen because we know World War Three is going to happen. But this proves it here, Second Edris, chapter sixteen, and verse uh, thirty-three. Start at verse thirty-three, and it reads: The virgins. Who are the virgins? The virgins. You know, a virgin is nothing but a young woman, okay? Okay? A young woman, okay? Okay? A young woman that that is of marriageable age, okay? But she probably hasn't been married, okay? Yet, all right? It says, the virgins shall mourn, all right? Mourn means to weep and cry, having no bridegrooms. Who are the bridegrooms? It's pretty much the men, Okay? So the scriptures clearly say that the 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 uh, the young women are going to cry, weep, and mourn, having no having no husbands, having no men. Okay, the women shall mourn, having no husbands. See, their daughters shall mourn, having no helpers. This is a prophecy. See, this is a prophecy. This is a future prophecy that has not happened yet. Now, why are they going to mourn, and why are these women are going to mourn and weep? Okay. Because they're because they're men, all right. Which is going to include their husbands, boyfriends, you know, for for the, you know for the for the uh, a, a nigger woman, you know, side niggas, right? Uh, uh, sons, right? Uh, uh, nephews, right? Grandsons, right? <laughs> you see? And why? Next line, verse uh, or uh, next verse, thirty-four. In the wars, see that. In the wars, all right, Salakia. In the wars shall their bridegrooms, the men, be destroyed. See, in the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed. All right, they're gonna get drafted, and eventually they're gonna go to war, and they're gonna be destroyed. Which means they're gonna be cut off. They're gonna be, they're gonna be killed. Okay, and their husbands shall perish, die. All right. Of famine, see, so <clears throat> well, verse thirty-five. It says, "Hear now these things and understand them, ye servants of the Lord." See, the the only ones that are going to understand this are those that were called into this truth by the heavenly Father Yahweh through His Son Yahweh Shai. Okay, which are the men that you see on the highways and hedges. Okay, us brothers that are doing the work of the heavenly Father, man. Okay, you see. This is what's going to happen. We understand prophecy, man. OK. You see, but it says in the war shall their bridegrooms be destroyed and their husbands shall perish of famine. OK. A little, you know, side note, because you got, you know, you got this, you got this woman empowerment movement thing going on. Right. It's been going on for, you know, a few years now. But, you know, it's really heavy now where you have all of these prideful women. OK. The scriptures talk about you prideful women. OK. And how and you know and, and you know how they're saying that they don't need a man, right? Well, and look, the times to come, you're gonna need a man, okay? But even then, as we can read in this prophecy, the Lord is going to strip these men away from you. You're not gonna have any hedge of protection, okay, from any 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 man in your life. Doesn't matter what their title is, okay? The men next door, uh, your husband, your boyfriend, uh, you know, uh, uh, your sons, your grandsons, your nephews, right? Your uncles, right? A lot of you women are going to be stripped of men, okay? Because you, be, be, because what women have to understand is that the man is it, 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 it is a uh, tower against the wind, as as it is written in the scriptures, okay? A man of the Lord is going to be a, a tower against the wind. What is the wind? The death and destruction, you know, i.e. World War Three. Right. Uh, uh, Esau coming in, you know, you know, like a great flood, a.k.a. the, you know, Jacob's trouble. All right. Uh, 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 the famine. Right. You see all of these things, man. OK. A man of the Lord is going to be a covering Again, you know, against that, against that, 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 you know, those are uh, plagues. Okay. You see, 
But you women are going to have a man of the Lord. You're going to have, you know, you know, Tyrone and, you know, uh, 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 Uncle Earl or whatever, you know. But the Lord is going to strip them away from you, man. Some way, somehow, man. Okay. And one of the ways it's going to happen is, i.e., through the, you know, a, a, a military draft. Okay. And World War Three is going to happen, man. Let's prove that really quickly and then we'll just close it out. All right. Uh, let's see right here. All right. It's the book of Joel chapter, chapter three and verse two. This is prophecy, man. Okay. This has not happened yet. All right. Chapter three and verse two. And it reads, I will, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat or Yahweh Shapat, which means the heavenly father's judgment. Okay. Yahweh's judgment. Okay. And will plead with them there for my people. And for my heritage, Israel, okay, i.e. all of these, all of these different nations throughout the time periods, man, have had the children of Israel within their possessions, okay, and had us in captivity, okay, they have to pay for that, especially, especially, the, especially the nation that has us, in, has us in captivity today, which is Esau Edom, okay, which is the so-called white man, woman, and child, man, we have not been let out of the hands of this devil, man. OK, so that's why the Lord is going to gather these different nations, the military, OK, in the so-called Middle East. OK. So when you hear about World War Three popping off or, you know, uh, um, Salakia, all of these different nations gathering in the Middle East. All right. The Lord is going to plead with them there, man. Now that word plead, let's go into it. All right. Because remember, we read in. What second Ezra chapter 16, okay, that uh, uh, verse 34 that in the wars their bridegrooms or their or their men shall be destroyed, right? They're going to be drafted, they're going to go to war, they're not going to come back, okay? Now it says it's going to plead with them, okay? All the armies of, of, of all these different nations are going to be gathered in the, in the Middle East, and, and the Lord's going to plead with them there for his people. You see, the word plead goes into shapat, as you see at the top with the with the uh, red exclamation mark next to it. OK, and what does it mean? It says judge, govern, vindicate, punish. All right. And, and, and ultimately, how how are they going to be punished? You know, when they're when they're gathered, when they're gathered. All right. And 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 the Lord pleads with them there. Ultimately, man, it's, you know, it's pretty, War is going to break out, man. OK, probably going to get nuked. OK, or something. Right. So that's what that means, man. The Lord's going to judge all nations, man, when they're gathered over there, man. OK, including the U.S. military, man. OK, this is this is prophecy, man. All right. I'm reading it. I didn't write this. Right. It says whom whom they have scattered. Who the all these other nations have scattered among the nations. And, and 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 parted my land. Yeah, the, the land of Israel. OK, because those are not the Israelites over there. I'll just say that. OK, those, those are 1948 ers. Those are not those are not the true biblical uh, 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 children of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. OK. Joel chapter uh, three and verse nine. And it reads, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, the natural Gentiles, by the way. OK, for you Christians. OK. So the heathen nations prepare war. See, prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. All right. These other different these are these other different nations. Who are the mighty men of these of, of these other different nations, man, including America, uh, uh, the, the, the military. All right. All these different nations, their military are their mighty men. It says, let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. See. Revelation 9 and 12, and it reads, one woe, all right, woe means war, okay, one woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter, okay, Revelation uh, uh, um, 11 and 14, and it reads, the second woe, okay, this is World War II, okay, is past, has it not passed? Absolutely, and behold, the third woe, the, the World War III, okay, cometh quickly, See, so this is what's going to happen, man. OK, this right here 
is a prelude, okay, a foreshadowing per se, all right, of what's to come to America, man, all right? Men are going to get drafted, all right? Hell, probably, uh, um, I read an article some years ago about, you know, them also, you know, saying in those think tanks that they're, that they're even considering drafting some of you women, okay? So, uh, uh, um, um, the draft is going to happen, all right? Men, you, you women will be stripped of all of your men, all right, some way, somehow, okay, including the draft, okay, and they're going to go over there, man, and they're going to be destroyed, okay, and eventually some, some of your men is going to have to fight and go to war with uh, 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 Yahweh Shai, the archangels, and the innumerable amount of angels, man, all right, you know, speaking about the war in heaven, okay, that, that uh, the scriptures had, you know, uh, 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 speak about, that's a prophecy, that has not happened yet. OK, that happens when who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. OK, but his real name is Yahweh Shai. He that delivers because he's going to come back and deliver his people. OK, the remnant of his people, the elect. OK. When he makes his second coming, that's when when the uh, war in heaven is going to happen. OK, it has not happened yet. I don't give a damn what Esau, you know, tries to throw out there, man. All right. Everything Esau throws out. Look, the truth is out. OK. Lies are being cut down, molded. Uh, 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 it's like a mold and, and uh, destroyed. OK. So, hey, take it. Take it. You know, you, you know, whether whether you receive it or not. OK. It's going to happen regardless. OK. It's going to be perilous times, limitations, uh, 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 mornings and woes, especially for you women. man. It's going to be coming pretty soon. All right, so I'm gonna end it there. Lord willing, this is edifying to the body and the fat, the sheep, to the spirit and power. Behold, Bashimah Shai, Shalom, and Ababa Ball.